All right, so we got our cylinder head. It's gonna be coming back tomorrow. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and start prepping the deck surface here. Um, of course, we're gonna run a roll lock all around it, but an important thing is to clean out all the head bolt holes. Um, so basically what you do, you got two, diff two different options, um, well, three technically, depending on how crazy you wanna get. Um, but basically what you're going to do is run a tap down all these holes. Now it's important to note that uh, whatever tap you use, make sure it's the same size as your bolt. Uh, we're going to run a little bit of tap oil down them all. Actually, before I begin, I'm going to run a little bit of penetrating oil um, just to loosen some of this stuff. Because a lot of these had dry coolant in them and uh, some of them had oil. So you're going to make sure these are nice and clean and ready for the head studs to... Or, Sorry, head bolts to uh, seat nicely. Uh, I'm gonna run a regular standard tap down them, and then uh, then I'll be switching to a bottoming tap to make sure that these are perfect. Because um, you can run into small issues uh, with cracking the block. Um, seen that happen a couple times. These holes aren't quite clean. Um, you start trying to reach your torque spec, and uh, you end up kind of messing some stuff up. So. Let's go ahead and get that taken care of and get this deck surface nice and clean. Uh, one thing to note before you run a roll lock or uh, whatever you're using to clean your deck surface is to uh, back your pistons down just a little bit. That way you can't, that way you don't hit them with the grinder. Okay. Um, and then, uh, you know, just make sure you kind of clean up some of the loose oil and stuff and just slowly work, you know, the old head gasket and stuff off of it don't try to rush uh, nice easy passes light pressure on your grinder you know you don't want to uh you don't want to dig in you just want to barely barely touch the surface to get this clean so i'm gonna go ahead and get that knocked out and uh, get this guy ready to go all right so look in here see the, the threads are pretty clean uh, I've run the tap down about five or six times, um, cleaned it out after each time. It's really handy to have compressed air when you're doing this because um, you want to you blow that junk out every time. Um, here, here's a hole that I haven't cleaned yet just to give you an idea of where, where it started and where it is now. Um, Pretty much what you want to achieve is just being able to spin your tap down, you know, one, two fingers. It's very, that's, that's, that's what you want to achieve here. Um, so do that. I'm for, I gotta do that for the rest of them. So. I'm not going to videotape that, but it does it does take some time depending on how dirty they are. This one having a blown head gasket, it's uh, definitely dirtier than what you'd normally find. Um, but getting that getting that nice and clean is very important because these bolts do have a torque spec and a stretch. I know a lot of head bolts do, so making sure that the bolt can stretch like it's supposed to is, is crucial uh, to making sure that your head stays sealed. So, you know, like I said, take some time, patience, make sure you're cleaning your tap uh, after every, every run, because um, you are gonna see dirt and debris and stuff like that uh, on the tap when you're pulling it out. So you don't wanna put that back in. So cleanliness is uh, very important here. All right, everybody. So we got our cylinder head back finally. Uh, as you can see, we actually opted to do a mild port job while it was at the machinist. Um, I don't know how much of a difference it's going to make. Uh, however, it's a little bit helps. Uh, I want to say the original rating on these is about 40 horsepower. As you can see, we got brand new exhaust guides. Um, these diesels tend to go through exhaust guide or excuse me exhaust valves uh, on a pretty pretty regular basis so 
If you gotta take a, one of these 1 6 heads off, uh, go ahead and plan on new guides and some exhaust valves at a minimum. Uh, see, we got our new head gasket. Now, our machinist, this head was warped. Uh, our machinist had to take about eight thousandths off, so the original the original head gasket was a two notch. So we ended up opting with a three. The head is still going to be a little bit shorter than uh, spec, uh, so we're going to have a slightly higher compression. Which, in reality, every little bit's going to kind of help on this. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, get this guy on there. Highly recommend you spray down your head gasket with uh, you know some copper some copper gasket spray um, definitely definitely it's not required by any means but I do it here just to make sure that uh, every, every little bit helps every little bit helps on these because we want to we want to make sure that every little bit of compression that this thing makes uh, is used so we're gonna go ahead and get the head on and I'll show you guys the torque sequence and uh, one of the more common mistakes in the torque sequence so stay tuned here's a little tech tip for you now when I put uh, when I put cylinder heads on I like to dial the crank gear back a little bit to uh, let the pistons sit down um, we actually have the camshaft pre-installed in this head um, you're gonna run into this more on dual overhead cam setups where you'll have a couple valves sticking down um, and your heads not quite a TDC yet uh, if you don't have your cams in, it doesn't matter. But if you do, here's a tip: you know, just take it, dial it back a little bit. That way, you're not going to have any uh, piston valve contact when you're bolting the head down. And another tip, because a lot of the a lot of crankshafts, especially the Volkswagen ones, they're not marked on the cog. So, what you can do, like me, I, I take a paint pen. I'm just kind of make my own little timing mark under here that way when I'm putting everything together and timing it up I know the bottom end is at TDC uh, that way I don't have to try to you know loosely put the cover on and then the crank pulley we're not we're not about that so yeah do that dial this back and before you put your head gasket on I, I went over this with a roll lock disc and then I wiped it down with 70% uh, isopropyl alcohol um, just to get any contaminants off the deck surface so that we get a nice clean seal. Alright, so following the book, alright, we got a torque sequence. And we got our torque. So the first stage, this order, 30 foot pounds. Second stage, 44 then a 90 degree stretch now if you if you misinterpret this and it actually doesn't say it but uh just tells you to do 30 then uh, go over it again at 44 and then you stretch now I went through the first stage already and we'll show you See, I still got a little bit of a turn. So what happens is, after your first stage, your middle bolts loosen up a little bit because the head sits down, and what was 30 pounds is now more, you know, it's less than that. So you have to do your torque sequences twice. Not the stretch. The stretch you only do as described. Okay, one time. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get our first two stages done twice. And we'll move on to our stretch. And this head will be attached to this engine. Alright, so our head is now torqued down, nice and cinched. You can see our head gasket spray kind of peaks over there. Some copper clad. Uh, I think it's the same as Indian head sealant or Indian sealant. Uh, we got a new cam seal, our mount bracket installed. Now, 
the suggestion here and most of them it calls for it put a little bit of RTV on this edge here um, I've seen quite a few random oil leaks from this end cap and we're gonna oh, no, it doesn't apply to this one uh, yeah get some get just a little bit not much then after it's dry just peel that away and you have a nice clean uh, nice clean sealed surface so now we're gonna start really getting into the assembly here uh, our intermediate shaft sprocket get our injection pump installed and our timing light on we're also going to install our injector heat shields and get all our injectors seated down and just go from there all right so that is going to conclude today's video our cylinder head is torqued our injection pump is loosely mounted to our bracket we want to leave it that way for timing In the next video we're going to be covering the timing for the belt and the static injection timing so stay tuned for the next video.